that liquidation of Queensland nickel will occur next week, and all indicators are that it will. I have exercised discretion under the Fair Entitlements Guarantee Scheme so that former Queensland nickel workers can access a contribution towards their unpaid entitlements. This is taxpayers' money, and no one in the Queensland nickel who's lost their job wants to have taxpayers' money. We will pursue the money that the taxpayers arrive. It's the message that we want to get through to the Queensland Nickel employees. Because this is really important for TRS. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You okay? Yeah. yeah look, it's, it, look this, is, this is a tough day. This is a really tough day. You know, because this is, you know, it's a bad day. What has happened at Queensland Nickel is disgraceful. Both for the workers and for the people of Townsville. And unfortunately, it could have all been avoided. A viable enterprise has been run into the ground by its managers and former owners. We should all be very clear on where responsibility lies for this mess. It lies fairly and squarely with Clive Palmer. Arguing that this is solely the result of falling commodity prices is just not good enough. The creditors report has outlined that tens of millions of dollars was stripped from this business to fund Clive Palmer's interests. We will use the powers of the special purpose liquidator to pursue these funds wherever possible. This includes pursuing Clive Palmer and all of his entities that have been the beneficiaries of the cash that has been stripped from Queensland Nickel. If money has been improperly taken out of the company, a well-respected federal Queensland MP and business identity has died with tributes remembering the ex-politician for his desire to stand up for those down and out in his community and country. Ewan Jones served six years as the federal member for Hobart, a seat encompassing the far north city of Townsville and Magnetic and Palm Islands after being elected in 2010. Mr. Jones died Thursday after a long battle with cancer, a release from opposition leader Peter Dutton's office stated he was 63 years old. Mr. Jones' daughter Emma confirmed the tragic news in a tweet that same morning. Ewan Jones passed away around 5 a.m. this morning, surrounded by family, she tweeted. He is at peace now. In his statement, Mr. Dutton described Mr. Jones as a true champion of Rebro values who relentlessly fought for the people in and around Townsville. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you so much.